Hi, and welcome back to another training session with GKC Coaching. You'll find this workout on your training plans. The aim is to make you stronger, more resilient triathletes and runners. Make sure that you are thoroughly warmed up, you're in a safe working place, and let's crack on with today's workout. So today's workout is called Toe Taps and Core. And this is the follow along workout. Three rounds with 30 seconds rest between the rounds. And the exercises are core exercises sandwiched between toe taps. The only equipment that you'll need today is something to do the toe taps on. So that could be a kettlebell, dumbbell, your bar weight, or in my case, I'm using a step today. So each round consists of one minute toe taps, followed by a 10 second transition to get you ready for the next exercise, which is going to be a plank crunch, followed by toe taps, followed by crunch sit ups, we're just pulsing the sit ups, back to toe taps, then we're going to do some leg raises and lowers, followed by the toe taps, following off with the oblique squat thrusts. Okay, so 30 seconds work on. 10 seconds transition between each exercise, 30 seconds rest after you've completed the round. And it's three rounds in total. So this workout takes about 25 minutes to complete. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll demonstrate the exercises so that we know what we're doing. So toe taps are regular, we use the toe taps all the time. Today I'm using a step. So what we're gonna do is nice light agility work, on the balls of your feet, and we're just going to go toe taps for one minute. So, just be toe tapping, get your core, minus the light on your toes. Foot just tapping, tapping the top of your weight or your board or your box. Okay, so that's 60 seconds of toe taps. Next exercise is a plank crunch. So, we get down into our plank position. Make sure that the elbow, the arms are underneath your shoulders rather, and engage the core. So squeeze the glutes, engage the core, tip the body weight forward a little bit, and all we're going to do is opposite leg to opposite arm. So we crunch through. With a rotation on the body. So plank crunches, 30 seconds. Back onto your toe taps. Then we're gonna do some crunch sit-ups. So on the crunch sit-ups, we're just working the lower part of the abs. So you only need to raise your shoulders off the mat to your range of movement, okay? So for me, we're just gonna pulse them. So it's up, up. Try and keep the neck in a neutral position, looking up at the ceiling if you can. Back onto the toe taps. Okay, and after the toe taps, we're going to leg up and lowers. So try and keep the flat of your back on the floor. You can put your hands just underneath your bum there, just to rest up a little bit. So all we're gonna do, nice control on the legs. We're gonna raise up, push, down, lower. Don't touch the floor, up. Push, down, lower. So we're not touching the floor. Okay, so you need to engage those abs to hold your legs up off the floor. Back onto the toe taps. And then the last exercise is a bleak squat thrust. So as you're doing these squat thrusts, so conventional squat thrust is straight in and out. On the oblique squat thrust, we're gonna use the obliques to pull your legs up. So we're going to go outside, centre, outside, centre, outside. Try and keep the back flat and don't let the bottoms rise up. Try and keep that core engaged and think about using those obliques to be pulling your legs up to that final position. Once you've completed the oblique squat thrust, 30 seconds rest, then we go again for the second and then the third round.
Okay, first exercise, toe taps.
Back to toe touch. Toe tap.
Rest. Final exercise. Squat thrust. The deep squat thrust. Thank you. 